kitchen. We're gonna make a salad bowl today. So welcome back to my little Collingwood kitchen. Um, can you set the cutting board up here? But I like some warm stuff too, so I'm totally winging this. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna start taking stuff out that we're gonna make for the salad bowl with. Uh, let's see. I'm actually taking this to a friend's house today. So I'm going to make all the parts and then we'll put it together later. Put my plant over here. Okay. So our green salad bowl, our salad bowl is going to start with greens, which I have somewhere in my fridge. I have lots of greens, but where are they? <laughs> Oh, maybe I don't have any greens. I do. I always have greens. So let's see what greens I have. Pull out all the greens. All right, I got a bunch of greens here. Hi, how's it going, guys? Thanks for being here. Hi, Peach Peach. Hi, Allie. Hi, hi, guys. Hi, Jen, Janija. <laughs> Welcome. I'm making a salad bowl. So I'm just getting my greens out. You can see. <laughs> we're going to have to make a dressing for this too. And then we're also going to do some leftovers because I have some leftover roasted veggies and stuff. I'm going to turn this just a little bit there so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm this plant and all this junk out of the way. Okay. So it looks like I have some beet greens. Beet greens are always awesome. Hi, Marcy. Nice to see you. Let's see. So I'm just going to put all my greens right into a colander so I can wash them. I have some beet greens. They are a little bit dirty. So I'm going to throw beet greens in there. Uh, this is some leftover pieces. Of, this is actually collard green, which I might saute some greens for this salad bowl too because I like to have. Um, some savory, warm stuff on my salad as well. I like to have ferment on my salad, so I think maybe I'll use coconut yogurt today to make a dressing. Hi there, nice to see you guys. Hey, Araldo. Okay, so I'm gonna put the tougher greens aside because we're gonna massage them and then saute them. And then, for the ferment today, we'll use coconut yogurt. We'll make a coconut yogurt, sort of a, I guess we'll do like a ranch style dressing with coconut yogurt. And that will be our ferment. And then we'll get some warm stuff on here too. Let's see, I also have some mushrooms that we could saute. Oh, that would be so nice to put on our salad bowl. But let's first, let's see what else we have in the fridge for leftovers. Got some kale. This kale should be also sauteed. I mean, as you guys know how I love that sauteed kale on salad, right? Hi, hi, Surfy. Surfy Yoga Zen. <laughs> hi, Sam. Oh, Sam's here too. Hey, thanks for joining me, you guys. Hopefully, when you repeat watch this, you can fast forward through all the parts where I have my back to you. <laughs> Hi, Christina. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining. So nice to see everybody on here today. So I'm just taking this kale off the stem. This is like my easy way to do it. Da -da -da -da. Great way for kale chips and your sauteed kale. All right, I think that's gonna be plenty. So I don't have a whole lot of fresh greens. I actually think I have some romaine in the fridge. I could throw in there what else do I have. This is all our greens for saute. These are our greens for our actual salad. And a salad bowl. Oh, look, I have bok choy too. I'm gonna saute some bok choy. Bok choy sauteed on salad is pretty awesome too. Hi, Joan. Nice to see you. Taste is. Should I be working? Oh, I should be working, but I'm watching you. <laughs> Get back to work. <laughs> All right, so that is also going to go in. And then I have some spinach, so that will go. It's going to be a darker salad then with our spinach greens and beet greens in here. It's some really nice spinach, but it's not doing very well. Let's see. Let's see. It 
some spinach. Spinach I find is really dirty. It always has a lot of dirt on it. So we always want to make sure we wash our spinach really well. If it's organic, then not too well because it's really good to get some of the dirt in our food and into our body. That's how we get our trace minerals and that's why we're lacking so many trace minerals today. Hi! Thanks for joining me. Nice to see you on. Just making a salad bowl. So we're just picking through some greens right now. I'm gonna get some light crunchier greens in here. So I'm gonna I have some romaine that we're gonna just throw, also throw into our salad bowl. Put these away. Grab some crunchy greens, nice watery greens. All right. There it is. Got this little bit of romaine that I'm gonna also throw into my salad bowl mix. You know, this is organic too, so I'm not even gonna wash it. Quickly rinse these and then spin them dry in my salad spinner. It's beautiful. It's supposed to rain this weekend, but it didn't really rain, and now it's like beautiful and sunny, bluebird day up here in Canada, which is so nice because we had a really long cold winter. All right, and then see what else is in my fridge for the salad bowl. Look, I've got, let's see, oh, look at here. Found some good stuff, some good leftovers. I've got some leftovers, these are also gonna go. So any sort of roasted vegetable that you might have on hand, leftover. Hi, Juliana. Hi, Amy. Thank you. Lots of hand-me-downs, actually. So I have this roasted, this was actually grilled asparagus from this weekend. So I'm just gonna, hi! I'm just gonna um, chop this up. It's gonna go into our salad bowl as well. Um, this is actually, looks like feta, but this is actually uh, sperm tofu that I've chopped up and marinated to be like feta. So it actually tastes like feta because it has garlic and oregano and lemon on it. Mm. But it's just tofu, so really great. Hi, nice to see you, Tesh. I miss you, Mama Pacha. I guess you're in Florida or some other amazing part of the world. So great to see you on. Thank you. This is a, a feta that's actually tofu, so it's a non-dairy vegan feta, and it works great. I love you, too. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Asheville. Okay, cool. I want to visit you there sometime. Hi, Tiffany. Thanks for joining. Nice to see you again. All right, let's see what we got here. Good vibes from Brazil. Obrigado, Brazil. <laughs> Dude, you drove through Collingwood yesterday. We missed you. All right, so our, this is our tofu feta. It's going to go on our salad bowl, too. I'm making a salad bowl, you guys. We're making a recipe here. And I have some leftover roasted cauliflower. So. That will also be part of our salad. So any sort of roasted vegetable that you have left over um, makes a great, great addition to a salad bowl. So um, with those, I'm probably going to toss them with a little uh, olive oil and balsamic or some kind of vinegar to give them a little more flavor. And that's one of the things that <laughs> I got. Hi. Um, yeah, cauliflower is awesome, and it's one of those brassica vegetables, so you know it's going to be helping you detoxify, it's going to be feeding your good bacteria, it's going to be improving your digestion, and all of those awesome things. I love you too! So nice to see you. Uh, yeah, so we're going to toss those. something I learned from uh, Tom Giselle's uh, Mediterranean chef, actually. I went to train her in Boston in my raw food, and I learned from her too, and that was that with these other elements of your salad, if you toss those, if you make a vinaigrette for the salad, you toss those other elements separately in the dressing, it really boosts up the salad flavors and taste and variety in the salad. So let, let's move forward here. So I've got my greens that I've washed and spin them dry. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see me down here, but I'm just grabbing my salad spinner. All right, awesome little handy kitchen tool, especially if you make your own salads all the time. I find like spinach and beet greens can be pretty grainy with dirt. So it's pretty good to, hi, to uh, dry those off. Also get a little workout. <laughs> hi, 
Thanks for joining me. All right, so our salad is done. So we've got, we're going to grab two bowls. One to marinate our hard greens, our tougher greens, the oxalates, and one for the actual salad itself. So I'm just going to tear the greens up here. So I love, I, like I said, I love salad with a warm element to it. So that's why I'm going to saute these greens. Break up a little romaine in there. All right. Love the hearts of the romaine. So good. Great, excellent water content. Okay. So definitely some greens here, not a whole ton of greens. This is just the base of our green salad bowl. That would be the base. And then this, this stuff, I have the bok choy, uh, collard greens, and kale, which I'm going to chop up. I'm going to give that a quick little marinade as well. I got my second bowl right here. I just need... My cutting board! Because I wing this, you know, I'm just going as I go. This is not pre-planned. No script involved here. <laughs> as you can tell. So these guys are all pre-washed already. So I just need to chop them up. See, I don't even have a knife ready. I'm so unorganized. <laughs> This I'm unorganized when I do my life, but I'm really organized in my online course, guys, I promise. Bring it. <laughs> Flourish and bear. Nice to see you. Nice to see you guys. All right, here we go. We're going to chop this up. Just like a rough job on it. This is getting me off the page. Right, and with that, we have a lot more greens that are going to be cooked than we actually have fresh greens because our cooked greens will wilt down quite a bit. Hi, Alex. <laughs> All right, so for our wilting greens, you know what? I don't have, I don't have any lemons or limes, so we're going to use apple cider vinegar today. Got some olive oil that's going on our saute greens. There's the vinegar. Some apple cider vinegar that's also going to go on our saute greens. And some salt. So, again, using pink salt, lots of full of good minerals, trace minerals, and electrolytes in there. I'm just going to give this a little rub down here. Massage. If you guys have ever been to my classes, you've seen this before. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. Thanks for joining me. All right, so yeah, we're just giving them a little rub down. So you're going to get your kale and be like, right there? Is that the spot? <laughs> just kidding. Oh my God, that's so cheesy. Okay, if my son's watching this, he's cringing for sure. Oh, they smell so good, just like that. Okay, so that's it. We just gave them a quick little rub down. They are getting sauteed, so it's not that important to massage them fully to break down the oxalates because they're going to be broken down in the pan. Hi, Nicole. Nice to see you. Hi, Dom. Thanks, Steve. Steve's on, too. Nice to see you guys. Thanks for joining me. We're making a salad bowl today, if you're just joining me. And now we want to get some color in there, so let's see what we have in the fridge for color. I know for sure we have a little tiny piece of purple cabbage. All right, so I'm just over here. I'll be right back. What do I got? Purple cabbage. I got some, uh, what else? I a lot. I got some cabbage. Oh. All right. I got some peppers and stuff leftovers in this bag. So I've got some purple cabbage that I will shred onto this salad bowl. And some yellow pepper. So you, you'll notice if you've been following me, I'm using more peppers than I ever had before because I found out that peppers are really good for detoxing because they contain a really good source of cysteine and also really high in vitamin C. So who knew that red peppers have more vitamin C than citrus fruit? Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Giselle. Nice to see you on. All right, let's see. 
We're just going to sort of julienne these and I'm going to throw them right into my mixed greens because we're going to have enough toppings on top and I want to get that color in there. So that's going to go right into the mixture. I'm just going to julienne the red cabbage. Lower chopping closer to the fingers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so that's going on. I'm pretty sure I have to have a carrot somewhere. I love that com color combination of the red cabbage or purple cabbage and carrot. It's such a pretty combo. Okay, so the compost bucket is down here and overflowing. <laughs> All right. I love the compost in Canada because you guys, I just put it in a bag, put it in a bucket, I put it at the end of the driveway, I come and take it away. It's not like in Costa Rica with my compost. I have to carry it in a huge bowl, hike up the side of the mountain, find a little plot, dig a hole, dump the compost in, cover it up. It's a lot more work in Costa Rica like most things for some reason. All right, let's julienne this yellow pepper. Gonna get tossed right in there with the greens and the cabbage. And oh, hi, how you doing? Here I am. <laughs> oh, cool. That's your mom. Hi, thanks for joining me. Stacy, hi, nice to see you on. Natasha's here too. I'm so excited, you guys. More and more people are getting a chance to watch these live videos. And lunchtime's a really good time to make lunch, right? <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get some carrot because I really love that carrot cabbage combo color combo. And I don't even have carrots. So that's okay. No carrots, no necessita, right? We gotta improvise. Improvising in the kitchen is what makes it fun. If you run hi, how are you? Nice to see you on, like and lane. And Michelle, nice to see you. <laughs> You caught me live, yay! Red-handed, green-handed. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's get back to what I'm doing. All right, so these are all sauteed, or these are all ready to go. I'm gonna saute them up now. Let me get my pan. I got this um, green life pan. I'm trying to find pans that don't have aluminum and other chemicals and stuff in them because we're trying to avoid all those toxins, right? Green pan, green plus life is one I found and I'm trying. And so far, so good. I like it. Um, all right. So, oh yeah, maybe some onion in there would be really good. Uh, I got some coconut yogurt here. Okay. I have. I don't have coconut yogurt. I do have coconut yogurt, and I was gonna use a coconut yogurt dressing, but I have this amazing. Caesar vegan Caesar salad dressing that I make and I'm gonna use this for the salad because I'm going to um, Blue Mountain Wife Styles for lunch and I'm bringing her lunch and I know she loves this Caesar salad dressing so I'm gonna get I'm gonna make this for her well, I don't even have to make it because it's already made can you smell it <laughs> I'm just kidding yes hello hi nice to see you thanks for joining me okay so what is in my vegan Caesar I use, parm uh, for the Parmesan, I use nutritional yeast. Um, and then to give it like that um, really salty flavor, like an anchovy would, I use black olives. And then of course garlic, olive oil, lemon, and hemp hearts. Hemp hearts make my salad, my Caesar dressing really creamy. And also it's a Caesar, so hemp hearts have a lot of sulfur in them, um, which sort of gives your Caesar a more eggy flavor. Really interesting, right? <laughs> Hi Jessica. Thanks for being here. Court's here too. Hi Court. Awesome. Okay, so I've got this piano going. Hey, hi. <laughs> so let's get the we've got bokeh choy, kale, and collard greens in here. And they just been rubbed down with a little olive oil salt and some apple cider vinegar. It's gonna add a nice warm element to our salad bowl. Courtney, and then my friend Courtney, who's on right now. Uh, hi, nice to see you. 
I am, I will, I will post the dressing recipe. I will post that for you, Christina. Don't worry. Hi, Bobby. Um, and Court, I am going to make the sunflower pate next week. What's today? Today's Tuesday. So yeah, Thursday. I'll make it Thursday, okay? I know I've been promising it to you for weeks, and it's not won any of the recipe contests, but I'm going to make it kind of happen on Thursday, okay? <laughs> Hi. Nice to see you. All right, so let's saute this up. Beautiful greens. You just want to wilt them. I don't want to cook them entirely. You want to keep all, maintain those good medicinal nutrients in there and the enzymes. We're not denaturing anything. We're actually enhancing this tea tree by getting rid of the oxalates. Because the oxalates will rob you from minerals from your body. So the oxalates in kale and spinach and things like that, they will go into your body and join with with iron and then actually remove the iron from your body. So that's why they talk about um, massaging your kale or sauteing it or putting in a smoothie. All right, so those are all done. All right, so now I'm gonna use this creamy thing The tofu feta will go on there. And I'm also going to use these beautiful roasted leftover vegetables that I have. So these guys, I'm just going to drizzle a little olive oil on. And I have this beautiful, beautiful vinegar, which I'm going to show you. These are still cooking in the pan. So take those out. That's going to go into glass because it's hot. Yeah, so these are our greens, all wilted and smelling delicious. Hi, thanks for joining, guys. Hi, Camilla. Got my STCR crew on today. Nice to see all of you guys. Okay, so then, yeah, we're just going to drizzle. That's what I want to show you, the, uh, the vinegar. You guys know, if you've watched my lives before, they're sort of sporadic, and I kind of go off on a tangent and forget where I came from. So... <laughs> It's just for fun, so just stay tuned and keep watching, and we'll get to the bottom of it eventually. So this is a black cherry balsamic vinegar. It is, hi Flavia, this is um, from the Collingwood Olive Oil Company. It's an 18-year-old aged balsamic, so I, as you guys know, I like to use apple cider vinegar all the time, or eight, what I call ACV. And uh, it's really good because it's super beneficial. It's a ferment. It has a mother. It's high in protein, and it's really good for your microbiome or colonizing your good bacteria. Uh, but I also just love this vinegar. So balsamic vinegar obviously doesn't have the same beneficial properties. So if I'm making healing food and I want to change the vinegar, I'll just add a touch of balsamic just to add the flavor to it. But this stuff is fantastic. So this I'm just going to drizzle onto both um, the roasted cauliflower and grilled asparagus leftovers with a little bit of olive oil too. I use extra virgin olive oil. I try to get organic as much as possible. Really cool. Um, this is organic extra virgin olive oil. Really cool that you can buy that at Costco, but I do, it does make me wonder, you know, how organic can it be? How organic can it be? <laughs> From Costco, right? All right, so beautiful. So we have the beautiful base of our salad here with red peppers and cabbage. Oh, yeah, I was going to add purple onion. See what I mean? I go off on a tangent, do something else, forget to come back to the purple onion. <laughs> so that's going in there. It's going to be topped with the saute kale the tofu feta which i can share that recipe with you guys too and i just i had some leftover asparagus that those are going to be chopped and put on and some leftover cauliflower which i've now tossed in the cherry balsamic and olive oil so those have already been seasoned too with salt and pepper so i don't need to re-season them and that concludes our salad bowl session for today so i'm just going to recap Start with your greens, whatever greens they are at the base. 
Hi, thank you. Thank you. She likes my necklace. It's really pretty. My sister gave this to me. Um, it's a really good protection stone. Anyways, uh, where was I? Okay, so we're going to start with the greens at the base, and then we're going to add some uh, marinated leftovers. Whatever you have in the fridge, sort of roasted vegetables or grilled vegetables, make amazing additions to salad bowls. Um, we were going to add a ferment, and I was going to make a dressing out of coconut yogurt, but I changed my mind because I found this gorgeous Caesar salad dressing, um, which I will share a recipe. I do have a Caesar salad dressing recipe in my online course as well, um, and also in the salads course, obviously. There's going to be dressings and salads in there, but I will share this recipe with you. And... For the ferment for our salad, I'm going to use, let's see what I have, kimchi, which I used before. Oh, I just found my smoothie. My Kevy makes a smoothie for me every morning. I should move on to that. Um, I'll show you what else is in my fridge. Pretty cool. This is actually chia, soaking chia. So we put this in our smoothie every day. Really great for energy. And keeping your belly full and keeping you hydrated really good for this time of year. I'm trying to find ferment. What ferment should I use? Let's see. Ah, there it is. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. Cocoa and mustard. Wow. <laughs> Cocoa and mustard? What did I say? Oh, cocoa's amazing. Yeah, so it's a coconut yogurt dressing is what I would make. But I actually made a Caesar salad dressing instead. And then I have a little cabbage kraut. We busted this out for the dressing, the salad dressing we made last week too. And so I'm going to take this with me over to Sarah's so that I can put this ferment on top of our salad. And we need a little crunch, right? Something crunchy. So let's toast up some nuts or seeds. I'm going to use the same pan I sauteed my greens in. And, okay guys, should I do pumpkin seeds or pistachio? What do you think on top of this salad? Got the pan going. Anyone? Anyone? All right, well, I'm going to see which one I have available. What's this? Um, I don't know what's happening. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's do whatever the first nut is that I grab from here. Pine nut. Pine nuts it is. <laughs> Pumpkin. Pistachio. Now we have some boats. Thanks, guys. All right, we're going to go with pistachio. Pistachio one, two, one. If I can find pistachio. <laughs> yeah. All right, found some organic pistachio. So I'm going to toast these. Because all nuts and seeds have enzyme inhibitors, or almost all nuts and seeds have enzyme inhibitors. And you can germinate them or soak them in water to get rid of the enzyme inhibitors, or you can roast or toast them to get rid of the enzyme inhibitors. Toast these beans up. So I'm going over to Sarah's after this. I'm taking the bowl over there, and I will put it together, and I will put it in my story on Instagram and I will post a picture of the finished bowl on Facebook and uh, yeah that's everything so if you have any questions or you'd like to see another recipe Thursday I'm doing the sunflower pate but next week I'm taking I'm taking requests for recipes so thanks so much for being here and joining me you guys I look forward to seeing you on Thursday for the sunflower pate